Hey guys, it's Chris Biscardi from Sketch.com. Today we're going to be going over Rotate in Blender. I'm using Blender 2.53 Beta, but you can use any 2.5 release. This also works for 2.49 previous. So, open up Blender and hit R. Oops, oh, I'm not in Blender. Okay, uh, hit R and you'll see that it just rotates the cube. So I'm going to clear that with Alt-R. Now if we want to rotate around the x-axis, we hit R and then we hit X. And it'll rotate around the x-axis. This also works for Z and Y. Now you can also rotate around the relative axes. So we're just going to rotate this a little bit and then we're going to hit R, X, X. And you'll see that it rotates around the relative axis. If you don't know what a relative axis is, you can refer to the grab tutorial in which I explain that. And you can see that you can do it with any axis. You can also, if we reset the cube, hit R and type in a number. Now it goes by degrees, so I'll type in 45. And you can see it's on a 45 degree angle. So now, if we take it and go rotate, x-axis, 45 degrees. You can see it rotated along the x-axis exactly 45 degrees. Clear that with Alt-R. And the last thing we're going to be going over is trackball rotation. Now trackball rotation is activated by R and then pushing R again. And you'll see your cursor changes to four arrows pointing outward. And as you move your mouse, you'll notice that wherever your mouse was, the cube now follows. So my mouse was over this point, so this point is following wherever my mouse goes. And that's rotate. 